Okay, so we're finding the distance between two cities again. Uh, this time we're finding, whoop, focus is out. Okay, we're finding the distance between two cities. This time we're doing it uh, east to west. So in a previous video, we found the distance between two cities when they were north to south of each other. This time we're going to be going this way, east to west. Okay, so we'll jump straight into a question. Uh, I've got to warn you, this one's a little more complicated than the other one, but there is a nice handy formula to help you out, so it's not too difficult. Okay, so first step, same as last time, step one, find the angular difference. Can't spell. Angular difference. Oh, that's awful. Angular difference. Okay, so if we need to find the angular difference here, as usual, I always get my map out. Now it says uh, 40 degrees south, 150 degrees west. So 40 degrees south, 150 degrees west. So it's over here. And the other point was uh, 40 degrees south, 60 degrees west. So 40 degrees south, 60 degrees west. Okay, so we need to first find the angular difference between this point and this point. So if this is 150 degrees west, oops, sorry guys. If this is 150 degrees west and this is 60 degrees west, then this difference, the angular difference, is going to be equal to, angular difference is going to be equal to 150 minus this one, 60. So that's going to be an angular difference of 90 degrees. So there's a different difference here of 90 degrees between those two points. But we don't want to know angular difference, we want to know the distance. Find the distance. Now, uh, going east to west, like I said, is more complicated. So we're going to apply our formula here. Uh, so you um, make sure you write this formula down because it is a little more complicated. Okay, I've written out our formula nice and well, fairly neat, so you can get it. The distance, and that is the distance if two countries of two cities are east to west of each other, is equal to the angular difference times 111.2. So this much is just the same as our last formula, but then there's an extra complicated bit on the end. Times cos theta. Now. You're probably looking at theta saying, what, what do you mean theta? Now the theta value is the degrees north or south. So we need to refer back to our question here and find out how many degrees north or south we are. Now you can see that we're 40 degrees south. So our theta value... Okay, so our theta value for this one you can see we're 40 degrees south, so that's going to be our theta value. Now our angular difference we found earlier, it was 90 degrees. And we multiply that by 111.2. And then we multiply that by cos 40. Alright, I'm just going to get my calculator out here. 90, oops, so you can see it times 111.2 times cos 40 equals 7,666.57. Now remember we're finding a distance, we're finding a distance in kilometres. So what we've just said is that there's two places, they're east to west of each other, 150 degrees west and 60 degrees west. We found their angular difference by using our handy map. Again, we've used this quite for a, quite a few questions, so it's pretty handy. 90 degrees between the two of them. Once we had the angular difference, we can put it into our formula. Distance, east to west, is equal to the angular difference times 111.2 times cos theta. Put your numbers in, get your answer, and you're finished. Now that was finding the distance between two cities, but only if they're lying east to west of each other. You've already seen how to do it if they're north to south of each other. Alright, thanks a lot.